a little bit more on labeling. Um, so we've got our, our labels that we can see in the dark area and the light area. And as we um, move away from it, you can see one of the problems is that the um, roads tend to get, it tends to get messy and it's uh, overlapping our map. and. Uh, the program's trying very hard not to put labels on top of labels. So uh, we get into this situation, and there's a number of, of roads that aren't labeled at all now. Uh, if they were all labeled at this point, uh, it would really be a, a pretty good-sized mess. Okay, let's see if we can we can find a, a way to override that. So I'm going to open up the properties again and go to uh, Rendering. And here's a selection to show the labels, including labels that collide. Okay, so you can see we have uh, map is gone and all we've got is labels. So we need to get a, a feeling for you know how to con have some programmatic control of, of the labeling. So uh, first back through is to um, Deselect this so that so that colliding labels go away. So that will give us a, at least a situation where it's it's still readable. Uh, problem is what what roads are are covered and not. So we may want to have the labels disappear when we get we get further away. So we'll go back to our bookmark, and if we if we look here, the scale at this point is uh, one to about thirteen thousand. If I roll back away a little bit, it's one to twenty six thousand. So uh, probably about here is where we would want uh, no labels to show up. So we can set that by going to the um, rendering and saying we want scale-based visibility. So in other words, the maximum scale, um, let's just set at um, 15,000. So now that this is set, the labels won't, uh, won't show up until we zoom in. As we end, if we're, we're less than 15,000, the labels will show up. If we're greater than 15,000, so they disappear. So this is a way that we can control um, the labels to an extent. Another factor that we may want is um, we may want to omit some labels. So if you, if you notice when I get in here close, um, there are a number of roads that are identified as private drives. Lots of private drives around here, uh, people's driveways. So they've, they've made it uh, onto the map because they're um, long enough to, to, to show up, but they're just identified as uh, basically a driveway. So how can we get labeling without the private driveways labeled? To do this, um, we'll go to properties again. And what we're going to do is to investigate uh, labeling the layer with an expression. So here we can start to put in some logic that will uh, help tailor uh, some of what we're looking, looking at. So um, the expression-based language, this is, uh, we have a number of things we can do. There are operators that equal, greater than, so on, like, is, or not, etc. Uh, we have conditionals, um, cases, case else's, uh, math. So there's lots of factors that we can build an expression to uh, to limit what's happening here. So uh, the expression to to get rid of the the private um, values is to look for those private values and and um, label a null in that case. So um, what we the expression gets built down here. So uh, I'm going to go case else. 
So case else, and this gives you the format, the syntax of it, and there's some some help here that you can uh, you can look at to kind of help yourself figure out what how this thing works. Um, and so basically, the idea is you you click in the area that you want to uh, start. So uh, when we have a certain condition, and the condition that we're looking for is when the field of street name. So I double click on it and that brings it down here. So when the street name is equal to, now I've got to come back and say street name, but it's a single click. And then I want to look at the field values. So I'm going to load all of the values that exist. So these this is the way you can do this so that you make sure. So this is giving us all of the possible values that are under street name. So if I'm careful, I can kind of scroll up and down and get close to private. And so double click. So the case when, and now we need to um, delete these. So the syntax says the case when the street name is equal to private. If that happens, we want to print the null. Well, the null is all the way up here at the top. If it's not, then what we want to do is to print the street name. So then we're going to print the street name. And You'll notice down here the previous is, is, expression is invalid, and so as you as you go along, you can try to get this. Um, I have to have an end at the end. There we go. Okay, I missed that. Okay, so th these can be somewhat uh, complicated and can take you a while to figure them out, but but they are kind of a handy way of of of, um, of limiting. So I'm going to put this in and now you can see this this private private roads are, are no longer labeled so I have just the just the pr principal roads labeled. 